Logan Paul. Logan Paul. Logan Paul. Over, 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 over. I don't know if this is even controversial, but I like the YouTuber Mr. Beast. I think his content is pretty entertaining and showing stuff you wouldn't see anywhere else. But the most impressive thing was his video called Saying Logan Paul a hundred thousand times. The only scenario in which I could even remotely copy that was with some trance music in the background and filled up with more drugs than a Colombian banana freighter. Yeah, I can't even compete with most viral sensations actually. How could I? By the time I pick up an instrument, some Chinese four-year-old has already learned how to play Beethoven. How do you stay motivated if this is your competition? It was much easier in the past. In the village I grew up in, everybody was good at something. Not YouTube good, but good enough to impress the rest of the clique. But it's too easy to blame the internet for the lack of motivation many guys feel. Japan is a first world country. They would do just fine with a 35 hour work schedule. However, they as a society decided to go crazy with the working hours. Why would anybody in his right mind go into this treadmill if you don't even have a family to provide for waiting at home? No wonder hikikomori is a thing there. Imagine taking the subway. Businessmen are sleeping across you with their notebooks still in their laps. You turn to your phone, Instagram Chad just bought his next supercar. It's 1.5 seconds faster around the Nürburgring than the old version according to YouTube car journalists. Buying was a no-brainer. Don't even show up in the base version of a Beamer at your local McDonald's. It has to be at least the M3. BMW banking will give you some real good financing deals, just stretching the payments over the next seven years. You can blame capitalism, social media, lack of values all you want, but never forget that it's in us to compete. Every guy wants to be the tallest, prettiest, strongest, richest, and so on. Men compete, women select. I tried Andrew Tate's Hustler University. This is my review of Tate's Hustlers University option play group. I've been in it for one week. You joined Hustlers University, like I know Tate says there's 18 modern wealth creation methods, but I think there's like six or seven, realistically. I joined freelancing and copywriting. But I already see major red flags for this group. I mean, I love Tate's motivational aspect of him, but this group, I mean, which is not managed by him, this guy changes his projections like literally every 30 minutes. And if you're a legitimate trader, or at least I think, um, your views don't change that constantly. But yeah, I joined copywriting and freelancing and I followed all the steps and it didn't get me nowhere. Then I spent another $5,000 to send them money through a different platform and I was finally able to access the war room. Is there hope? Of course. Many communities are already overcoming status symbols, or at least they get their status by being vegan instead of being dressed like Kim Kardashian. However, for every person leaving luxury products behind, there is someone standing in the artificially produced waiting line in front of the Gucci store. See this line? This is the line of people to get into the Gucci store. So one little trick that luxury brands like Gucci use to get your money is they make it really hard for you to get into the store. And a lot of people go buy because they see other people buying. Don't be a sheep. Buy it because you want it. Don't buy stuff just because other people are buying it. They can let more people in this store. Ain't no COVID restrictions keeping these people from coming in. They deliberately put this line out here to create artificial demand. So keep that in mind when you go to the Gucci store and they quadruple the price on you. Just make sure you're getting what you actually want. It's kind of sad. Peace. Every single blue collar worker is the backbone of this country. I mean, the reason that the world keeps turning is because of those guys. They make up such a crucial part of our economic system, our utilities, our manufacturing. I mean, without them, I mean, we wouldn't be where we're at. I think it has gotten the worst for blue collar workers. Those are physically exhausting jobs, which keep society running. Unfortunately, the media is far from giving some appreciation to the mostly cis men doing the labor. Quite the contrary. As I grow older, I have to admit that it's one of my biggest fears to lose my job and fall back into low-paid physical work, especially when you listen to guys like DBDR. It sucks doing those jobs when you are young, but at least you have a good explanation on why you aren't traditionally successful yet.
The older you get, the more you are seen as a loser if you're working certain jobs. A 37-year-old guy filling up shelves at Target is instantly ranked down socially. And of course, it's also financially a huge step back. Just when you get used to some luxuries, having it all taken away must feel brutal. Don't forget to like and subscribe. A big thanks goes out to our voiceover guy. Leave a comment and tell me if you want more voiceovers.